Hey guys, I'm Dr. Daniel Sugai. I'm a board certified dermatologist here in the Seattle area. Let's do a fun video on comparing the Supergroup Glow Screen versus the Supergroup Unseen. So my wife likes the Unseen. This was her favorite pick of 2021. I liked the Glow Screen quite a bit. She didn't really care for the Glow Screen. She still wants to stick to the Unseen, but let's break it down because the names, um, you know, can mean nothing to people. They'd be like, what, what the heck, you know, where do I, what do I buy? You might read that the Unseen is the number one selling sunscreen, glow screen, maybe number two. I've reviewed the matte screen before, and they all can be kind of confusing when you're trying to shop at Sephora or online. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the Unseen sunscreen. I did a formal review just on the Unseen. This is SPF 40. It has PA3 plus coverage, so that's a UVA coverage, whereas the SPF 40 is UVB coverage. Both are adequate. You wanna go for SPF 30 and above for UVB coverage, UV bad, UV burns. This will prevent burns, prevent that DNA damage. UVA causes uh, DNA damage as well, but also altering your collagen and causing aging, UV aging. This is 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 milliliters for 34. Four to forty dollars. If it's on sale, you might find it for thirty-four bucks, uh, but uh, it's 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 kind of on the pricey side. So I did I did have to ding it some points on price. In terms of water resistance, yep, this one's water resistant. Forty minutes. So forty or eighty minutes are the grades you will see. So technically, if you're going to be out sweating, working out in the pool, you should be reapplying this every forty minutes. All right, eighty minutes is the max grade for water resistance. Uh, but this one's 40, but that's great. You know, it's something you can, cons it's more versatile in that respect. You can use it as an everyday sunscreen or as a sunscreen uh, that you apply before going out for a run or a bike ride. Glow screen is also 1.7 foot ounces. It is a similar price. When I was at Sephora, the, the person working there said, hey, I would recommend you do the unseen and not so much the glow screen because that's too much of a glow for you. I should have asked her why, but maybe she thought my skin was oily that day or that, I, I don't know why. Maybe she thought maybe as a man, I wouldn't want a tinted sunscreen and she didn't know that I wear tinted sunscreens. Anyways, but this one has a little bit of a tint, it has iron oxides, it has cocoa peptides, both to fight blue light or block blue light and also their damaging effects of blue light. So this is, uh, has additional coverage. It has SPF 40, similar to the Unseen, and also a PA 3 plus, so adequate UVA coverage. But there's no water resistant uh, labeling, so this is not water resistant. Uh, so this is more for an everyday use, going to the office or for a nice light walk, but not for working out. Whereas this is water resistant, the Unseen. Uh, they're both chemical-based sunscreens. This one has four UV filters that are chemical-based, avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. This one being avobenzone, octosalate, octocrylene, just three filters in this one, the glow screen. Okay, so let's put this on my face and see how this goes. I'll start off with the glow screen. Just wanna show you the color. Looks like a tinted, sunscreen, traditional tinted sunscreen. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheek just to show you how the tint doesn't, isn't too obvious. You need a half teaspoon amount for your face, ears, and neck. This is just a small amount just as a tester. Show you what it's like, doesn't give you a white cast. Do you expect for a chemical-based sunscreen? A little bit of a shine there, which I like. Okay, and totally fine with reapplying over sunscreen. All right, uh, whereas the unseen in my other video, for some reason it did pill. I did apply uh, a, you know, a, a sunscreen a little few hours before that. I applied the unseen over it and it started to pill like a really gross, thick uh, peel coming off of it. It started to clump up pretty severely. Turned me off big time. This one has no smell, you know, uh, no irritation feels great. I like that it blocks blue light as well. This one has niacinamide. It has an antioxidant. Sea lavender has, is what they say is an antioxidant uh, punch that will help block free, free radical damage from the sun, pollution. So I like it when my sunscreens have uh, antioxidants and uh, it will help protect you 
uh, throughout the day. Nice thing to do in the morning before walking out and stepping outside of your door. It has vitamin E and it has uh, sunflower seed oil, which is moisturizing. So niacinamide being the you know golden child of the last two years, this one uh, this one has it because if you have oily skin, you might not like that dewy look, but it will help um, kind of offset some issues if you have oily skin and you use this because the niacinamide will help regulate sebum production, calm down any redness, and also helps with brown spots too. So I like that. I like sunscreens with niacinamide, uh, and this one definitely has it. In terms of the unseen, uh, this one doesn't have niacinamide. It is water resistant like we talked about. The, the texture and look of it is something, is, is not what, I've never seen anything like this comes out without having that separation issue like the Kroger dupe. It really looks like an ointment, uh, like Vaseline. And it also has that kind of petroleum jelly smell to it, which uh, is interesting. You know, uh, my wife likes, is not bothered by it, but let's apply this on my face. It does kind of melt in very well. a little heavier texture for sure. You can definitely feel it on your skin. It's a definitely have a heavier feel to it. Uh, no fragrance, of course, but just kind of smell that, that ointment vehicle for sure. Uh, but again, no irritation at all. Uh, I don't know if I would want to go running with this thicker uh, sunscreen on my face though. Uh, but yeah, let, if you look at my face here, I think this is more of a dewy finish and this one is a little bit more mattifying. What do you guys think? So both similar price points, definitely different sunscreens, different looks. This one doesn't have so much the iron oxides to protect against blue light. This has the Boswellia Serrata Resin Extract, which has antioxidant benefits. This is the one with the antioxidant punch, whereas this one has the sea lavender, so both with the extra goodies. That's what I want to see in higher end sunscreens so that I feel like I have that additional protection. Antioxidants do not replace sunscreen, but having that in your sunscreens, yes, I like that a lot. What would I go for? What do I, what would I choose? I choose a glow screen. I think this is a better sunscreen. It doesn't pill when I put it over other sunscreens. Uh, it's not water resistant, but you know, this time of year, I'm not really going out for a run, uh, you know. So I like uh, the, glow screen for this time of year. So I would say that this is a nice solid sunscreen. It's everything I want right now and it feels great on my face. I do like that dewy look, whereas my wife prefers the unseen still. So for me, I like the glow screen. Drop a comment down below if you have a favorite, if you prefer one or the other. And I, I appreciate you guys so much for uh, watching the channel and for your support. I really am having a good time still. and. I want to keep pumping out more videos and still being busy on TikTok, Instagram, as well as clinic. And so I appreciate you guys making appointments to see me too. So it's great meeting you guys in person. And even my pre-existing patients are watching me here. So thank you guys. Please like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you for the next video. Peace.